sports. It's in the game. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Iron Michael Chandler! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alexander the Great Bogonowski! You ready to fight? Ready? Do it. All right, the man, Alexander Volkanovsky. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go, baby. 214 pounds. As you know, he competes at 145 pounds in mixed martial arts, and he has evolved into the best featherweight in the world today. Striking is the focus. Come on, Michael. Time, particularly when it What's comes up, to baby? leg kicks, believes that he can get those calves pretty sore on his opponent here early. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, so there's that power right from Chandler. He talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button wrong. Wow. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire UFC. Big to the left hand now, unable to connect. Chandler tries to throw that left hook. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost yeah. a fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. Whoa! Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. Oh, okay. All right. Damn. Alexander Volkanovsky. So oh, he had me right there. Come on. Oh my goodness! What a shot. Yeah. What's up? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. See if he goes back to it here. Going to the body now with that hook shot nicely done by Michael Chen. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, Woo! Dead kick there. Big shot lands. Oh my god. Back. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Mm, what's up, baby? Get your ass up. Get your, get your ass up, Michael. Nah, nah, nah. Come on. What's up? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. The knee's now going. Uh-oh, it's over. It's over. Uh-huh. You got saved, Michael. You got saved. On his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open Damn. back up. Damn. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. Woo. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, here we go with round two. Yeah, let's go. Oh, roundhouse kick. That's a big hook. Oh, 
Yo, come on. I mean, Michael Chandler is a beast. I think he's one of the best athletes we have in the UFC. He works extremely hard, and he's one of those guys that you just want to root for. He's got great power, but don't forget about that wrestling background that allows Chandler to get those hands to drop in. Then you're going to take it down, and then up over the top, that overhand right wing. Oh, okay. Come on, Mike. What's up? I mean, he's still on I'm good. But he's not up by much. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent. Yeah, what's up? No, stay right there. Stay right there. Mm, 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 mm. Uh-oh. Now, nah, get up. Get up. Get up. Motioning for his that's it. It's over. It's over, baby. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle Michael Chandler got his ass whooped. Most of them upstairs. Let's go, Alex. When those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Hmm. Damn, you, yo, did you hear that? Woo! All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Yeah. All right, so Alexander Volkanovsky is your winner by TKO. And had he stayed a rugby league player, probably would have been one of the best in the world. We're certainly glad he's in the UFC. I'm not sure the rest of the featherweight division agrees with us, though. But, but athletes like this, athletes like Volkanovsky, come once in a lifetime yeah so we really should take in what we are watching and really live in his greatness because he is as good as anything we've seen in the octagon that's right all right now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt here's bruce buffer Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Plus Holloway. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame Jose Alba Jr. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with Max Holloway and Jose Aldo. It seems to be a consensus. Let's go, Jose. For the greatest featherweight of all time, Aldo, Holloway, and Alexander Volkanovsky. And tonight's result in this third meeting is going to be a huge legacy builder, I would think, for the win. Yeah, absolutely. And this could really push Max Holloway ahead Ooh. of Jose Aldo. Uh-oh, uh -oh, already? Already. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. Woo! And it hurt okay. very bad. Aldo's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do with it. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Oh, my God. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Establishing the jab. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Oh, misses with the jab. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you block the shot. That's incoming. So just oh, my God. Total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. Yo, he got some Man, long arms. Body kick. I'm like trying to find my Just range. Over two minutes, round one. Ooh, oh my god, yo, hurt. keep your hands up. Come on, Jose. Nice jab by Alba. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the door. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Hands higher! Hands higher! Throwing that jab now again. The Damn, my range is so off. Under a minute to go. Oh, a huge oh, strike come on. there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Mmm, nice. Mmm, nice. Big right hand. So, under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Woo! Oh, yeah. It's a big left hand. That one was oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Not too straight ahead. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Mm. Well, good pace to this one. Round two good is fight. here already. The King Great. of Rio, Jose Alba, good. and Max West Hollow. Oh, good work with the jab there. Trying to double up on that jab. Man, Holloway at his relentless best. No breathing room for the opponent as he continues to press forward here. Nice punch to the head. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Come on, punish that. Aldo gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Woo! Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Holloway's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be oh my god. Bridge. Okay. Oh man, why did I went into that? Come on, get back. Get back. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Big right hand. Damn. Under three minutes now Move your head around. around. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Yo. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Holloway's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter there we go. to protect that already significantly yeah, damaged missed. nose. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Woo! Bam! His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on yeah, the barely. end of those types of strikes. Oh! Oh my god. Look He's at me. Get it together, Jose. So 65 total strikes and counting. And now landed for the King of Rio, Jose. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit, 39%. Yo, get your ass up. Nope. Nope. Oh, big 
big shots. Let's go, let's go. Uh-uh, uh-uh. In the half guard. Holloway gets up clearly. He wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Come on. Aldo's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, my God. Yo, what a round two. I think Max got that one. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. Man, what a body shot and an uppercut. He is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt, he got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, final round. Let's see what happens. Yo, Max Holloway, his stamina is still good. Changes his stance. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. Come on, come on. He's got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus. Oh! Yo, what? He, yo, did he touch me? Woo! That was lightning fast, that right hand. How the hell did I even got down like that? Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they want. Yeah, what's up? Oh. Oh my god. Oh lord. No, 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 no. Yo, I rocked him. Get up, Jose. Yo, what a round. All right, get back, get back. Woo. Nice. Come on. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each. Right, relax, right relax. He continues to effectively target right. that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight in, get, IQ. Get back in. Let's go. So when you give him no. that, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to chase him. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, Lights out, Jose right Aldo. I'm not even sure the opponent really I don't saw it believe so it. Back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Damn. Just rock my shit. He had me looking cross eyed. He didn't have to do my boy like that. We said it inside the octagon. Yo, Bruce good Buffer fight, though. the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max Blessed Holloway. How about it, folks? Max Holloway by knockout. He had a different tone to him this week in our fighter meeting. He was urgent. Felt like he kind of needed a statement maker here tonight. Couldn't have done more to maximize the showcase. I mean, that's exactly what he did. He was very aware of what he needed to do. He's had opportunities before. 
So in order to earn another one, you got to make a statement. you got to be impressive. And that is exactly what Max Holloway was tonight. And if you're going to get a title fight, he said, you got to do something special. Certainly one adjective to describe the finish Max Holloway produced here tonight. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Islam Makachev! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Habib the Eagle! Ready to fight? Ready. Yo, well, could you imagine if this fight, fight never seen really happened? Teammates, Islam that would be crazy. It's a fascinating matchup, and tonight we will finally find it's out. It's like brother against brother. Really you know, the fact that people talk about it so much tells you how good and interesting a matchup is. You have Islam Makhachev, who is a better striker than Habib Nurmagomedov, but then you have Habib, who is just an absolute dog. He's gonna press forward. You may hit him. He will not take a step back. This matchup Come on. is so fun to watch. Come on. I've experienced it before. Habib. Luckily, you guys go home. What's up, baby? Tonight. Let's go. Right, so oh, you gonna push me? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna push me? Too much Do you know who I am? Too much respect. And you saw it in the build up. They were Come on, boy. You better show me respect. It's like watch friends. You guys are here to fight. Get going. Start to implement the game plan that you worked on. Uh oh, 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 oh. Nah, baby. Nah, nah. Uh-uh. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Clean punch. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Trying to hammer what the that hell? Leg. Ooh. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hook from Bobby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very under... Okay. Got it. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Make a choke. Got it very tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. Oh, really, Islam? Back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get it. There we go. He continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. There we go. There we go. Come on. Now he's got to get his knees above the head. Damn it. They respect his ability to escape, and he showed how well. All right, Islam. I see you, my boy. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Now nah, put that down, boy. Put that down. Oh, lands a massive left hand. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, well, perhaps he has a point to prove. Perhaps there's a hip injury, but this man's UFC career has been defined by the takedown. He hasn't attempted a single one tonight. He hasn't even attempted it. It's very oh, come on. Awesome. Defend that. that Marco Medoff's going for the sub here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. Come on, come on, come on. Tight now, he's advancing. Take it, take it. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Finds his range with the jab. Beautiful body kick. Oh, call it time. Oh, the head is true. Great technique there. And everything is landing with so much power. Three minutes now to go in round two. What? Come on. I believe. Get your ass up, baby. Oh. Uh. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize. Oh my God. Come on, get back, get back. That's big. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, come on, let's go, baby. Get out, get out. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. What the hell just happened? an exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but the What the that hell? To the durability of the guy standing in front of him. This man got well, iron in his gloves. Watching some of these takedown attempts, he's unable to get it there. And he's attempting him over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Landed that left hook. Timely defense. Perfect shot there, DC. Yo, what a round that was. Is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Yo, me too, DC. The end of the round and. He done had me staggered a few times. Yo, I'm his coach. I'm his master. He's my student. And he's whooping my ass. Yo, Habib, get out of retirement and show him what's up. I know, I know Islam is the man now. But show him. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is. Damn. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed Ready. to put his opponent down. Ready. Good. Third and final is underway. Come on, final round, baby. Lost his strike and then counters with a beautifully placed hook. Nice job by Nomago. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the mid. Oh, my God. Better believe it. Oh, that right hand barely missed it. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Nurmago Meta. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now and a pretty good one at that. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Come on. Get in there, get in there. Yo, defend that takedown. Nah, get up, baby. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. 
He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Beautiful jab. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. What a great Get him. Get him. Yo, what a takedown. Man, aggressive. Position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. Yeah, you yeah, what's up? Go back, son. Yo, I'm mad tired right now. Be careful, be careful. A battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. All right, so we go down the Oh! this fight and at this point you just abandon position and go for submission yes yeah, you gotta just go you gotta start throwing things at the wall and hope something sticks oh my god get him get him well it's all pace and pressure down the stretch he is really lighting him up now all right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent Yo, is I can't defend no takedowns. He should keep doing it. Nurmagomedov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing the Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? Come on, Islam. Nah, 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 son. Nah, son. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah, go for it. Come on, let's go. Are you serious? Oh my God. What an ending that was. Now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest. Come on, Hadi. Come on. This contest is considered a unanimous draw. What? Wow. You serious? Yo. But hey. Great fight, man. By two great fighters. All right, guys, I'm going to end the gameplay right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. So catch me on some more UFC 5. And I see you when I see you. I'm out. Peace.